I spent a lot of my childhood in Africa, mostly in Zimbabwe, though also a short time in South Africa, and the rest of my childhood in London and in Brussels. Although I've always loved London and now I live there and consider it home, Zimbabwe is this country that has magic in it. It has beauty like no other country I've been to. And also animals that when you're a kid make the world seem twice as exciting as you could have thought it would be. The key thing that inspired me to write Cut Winning Thunderstorms in fact happened when I was about six years old. We were in Zimbabwe and a baby elephant sneezed in my face. And I remember thinking at the time that this was the best thing that could possibly happen to you. And I remember thinking also that when I grew up, I would write about this kind of thing for kids who couldn't have baby elephants sneezing in their faces. My favorite scene to write in Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms was one in which the protagonist, Wilhelmina, breaks into the monkey enclosure in London Zoo and curls up in the straw with a baby monkey in her arms. Just as she's falling asleep, the baby monkey nibbles on her eyebrow and she realizes that life is absolutely worth living. And I've never broken into a monkey enclosure at Elden Zoo, but if I could, I would. I would hope that somebody reading Cartwheeling in Thunderstorms would come away with a sense of just how extraordinary the world we live in actually is and how beautiful and different it is. Also, the message in Cartwheeling in Thunderstorms, if there is one, is grit and perseverance and courage will ultimately pay off. And even if you have to run away from school to discover it, being yourself is the thing that will in the end keep you safe.